uh, Councilman Michael Palencia. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. Very much. To the Father John, to the distinguished judges that are here, to State Representative Tom Patton, to um, all of our friends of the uh, Nationalities Movement, it is my distinct honor and privilege to be here. The judge asked me to say a few words uh, on behalf of specific Irene, but I, I would be remiss if I didn't say something about Paul as well. Um, you cannot find two finer examples of individuals who have been concerned about our nationality community. I've had the pleasure to know Irene Marl since 1977. Uh, I'm dating myself, dear. And um, <laughs> what else can you say? I think the judge spoke volumes about her commitment not only to our nationality community, uh, but to city government. She was always there, a dedicated city employee, someone who gave an above and beyond the call of duty. So it is my honor and privilege to be here to say to my dear old friend, thank you for your commitment, thank you for what you've done for this organization. Uh, I had the distinct honor of being um, a recipient uh, a couple years ago of the Freedom Award of this, very, or this various organization that we are here tonight um, gathered in, and I understand all too well the distinct honor that they are about to see. To Paul, dedication not only to the city government, to the Department of um, Architecture, but also to the um, Cultural Gardens. I want to say on behalf of the people of the city of Cleveland, thank you. God bless both of you for what you've done for our community. Thank you. And just, uh, one other tribute to uh, Irene in uh, the Polish community. Many times uh, there's a song that's uh, sung for people, that's sung for Pope John Paul uh, when he arrived uh, uh, in various locations. Sometimes they sing it for happy birthday, but it's may you live a hundred years. So we're going to sing this for Irene uh, as a tribute to Irene. Where's all our Polish folks to help me along? Stola, stola. I didn't realize how much we, we miss your dad. <laughs> what a voice he had. <laughs> we really would have understood what Stone Out meant if it was uh, Ralph, Ralph Brooks singing it. I'm sure he has someplace I read. 